Now, we are going to look at the five basic skills. The five basic skills. Now, let's read. What is the first skill? I'm listening. The first skill. The first skill. And in learning the letter sounds, we are going to learn 42 sounds. We are going to learn 42 sounds. And the 42 grouped in a way. It has been grouped into seven. So we can see the groupings from here. Third, four, fifth, six, seven group. And it has been designed by experts to follow the order. Starting from group one up to the last sound, then we come to group two and teach, group three and teach. When we get to letter formation, what we are going to do there is to learn how to, how to hold a pencil or a pen. Oh. Repeat. Oh. Now listen. You hop from flower to flower with all your velvet colors. You hop from flower to flower with all your velvet colors. You hop. Let's go. You hop from flower to flower with all your velvet colors. Oh, butterfly. Oh, butterfly. How beautiful you We begin again. Go. Oh. Butterfly. How beautiful you Go. Butterfly. Oh, butterfly. How beautiful you are. You are. You are from flower to flower with all your favorite colors. Butterfly, oh butterfly, how beautiful you are. So you come with me, let's go. Oh butterfly, oh butterfly, how beautiful you are. Oh butterfly, oh butterfly, how beautiful you are. Can you hold the thing down? Can you hold? You can hold the thing down. So let's stand up and hop. Let's stand up and hop. Oh, butterfly. Oh, butterfly. How beautiful you are. You hop. You hop from flower to flower with all your velvet colors. Oh, butterfly. Oh, butterfly. How beautiful you are. This sit down. You know? We are adults, so when we sit for a long time, there's a problem. If you sit for a long time, a longer time and a long time and a longest time, Uber sorry now So we are using the same tune to sing this one. I cannot be a choir master and you people will be singing the same tune. 
I can't hear travel. I can't hear auto. I can't hear anything. So travel auto turn up base at the back. Let's go. I can't hear auto. I can't hear go. You start. You start. Come on. For you, for you. Now, this is a child speaking. A child is telling us that Dolly Fon is Dolly Fon is help me to read and write. Uh huh. So, this is the letter sound order that we have on a card. So, we can copy it or snap it. So, we can go on. Copy or snap. So, this is the letter sound order. Because we have it on a card there, we can go. So, we have our books here. We have the pupils' book and the learners' book. But the teacher's book is good for everyone. The teacher's book is good for everyone because it's a compilation of book one and book two. The methods you are going to use to teach. So, now, when it's time for early bed, when you are going to start teaching the Jolly Furnace, these are the eight steps you are going to follow to teach. Eight steps to follow when teaching a sound. How many steps to follow? Eight. Eight steps. Now, let's go through the steps. One. If I don't hear it, all of you, I won't stop. One. Sorry. One. Sorry. Two. Ashing. Three. Ashing. Four. Ashing. Five. Six. Seven. And then eight. Let's, let me explain. When you pick a sound, like the first one we are going to do on Monday, I said it is, which one will you start? So, you need to tell a story. A simple story. And the story should contain the sound that you want to teach. The words in the story should contain the sound you want to teach. So we are teaching what will be some of the words we will use in our story. Snail. Eh? Snake. Speed. A snake with a speed. Yes. Spoon. Slip. The, the snail slipped. Eh? Okay. So these are some of the words we will use. A short story, but at the end, we should produce the sound for learners to listen. Are we okay? Very good. And when you tell the story, you do some comprehension, aura. So what are the things you heard, some of the words you heard in the story, what you like about the story, that one. You do it. Then from there, you produce the sound, then they will repeat after you. You make the sound, they will repeat after you. Then you do the action for the sound. Then you show them what you are talking about. Because you told us a story, you made a sound, you did some actions. I want to see what you are talking about. So you go for your flashcard to show then the child will know that this is what you are talking about, right? Then, after that, you go for formation or writing. You are going to teach the child the correct way of writing that letter. The correct way. And then, you go to blending. 
Then you go to sounding, dictation, and then the jolly song. It's very short. It doesn't take 10 minutes. Very short. So our 30 minutes for early bed is one hour, right? We can do a lot with jolly furnace. Exercises, when it gets to blending, we can do a lot of blending and sounding. Go. All right. Now, when we get here, it means we are ready to start with the sounds. So we have another song here we want to learn. Very simple. Okay? We are ready. We are ready for Jolly Phonics. On your marks, get set. We are ready for Jolly Phonics. Cho, cho, cho. Say cho, cho, cho. cho, cho, cho. Let's go. Come on. So we are going to learn. Very short. And this song, we use it in revision. When we are revising our sounds, we use this song. We know we have the Shatawales and the Stone Boys in our classroom. They want to hear music before they will learn. We have the dancers, and the Ajetes always are there. They want to dance, but you do all the time. What is this? Blue plus white is equal to what? And they get bored. Let them feel comfortable in their zone, their own area. So we sing and dance, and they all get their share. So it's like this. We are ready. We are ready for Jolly Phonics. On your marks, get set. We are ready for Jolly Phonics. We are ready. We are ready for Jolly Phonics. On your marks, get set. I know you are very good, so you can sing. Let's go. We are ready. We are ready for Jolly Phonics on your mask. Get set. You pause more. Get set. So let's go. We are ready. We are ready for Jolly Phonics. Jolly Phonics, don't run. We are my swag and rev. We are ready for Jolly Phonics. We are ready for Jolly Phonics. Let's go. We are ready for Jolly Phonics on your mask. Get set. We are ready for Jolly Phonics. We are ready. We are ready for Jolly Phonics on your mask. Get set. We are ready for Jolly Phonics. Now, this song is a reggae music. You want the cho cho cho. You want you are not singing, you are getting to cho cho cho. Do you know when the cho 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 comes? Do you know when it comes? Uh-huh. The cho 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 comes. When you see that learners are able to do the actions well, say the sounds well, then you go cho 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 cho. So you are not singing well. How can I give you cho cho cho? Okay, let's go. We are ready. We are ready for Jolly Phonics on your mask. Get set. We are ready for. So these are the actions that goes with. So we are ready. One finger in the air. Let's go. We are ready. We are ready for Jolly Phonics on your mask. How do we do on your mask on air? When we are running, you go down. But because we are adults, when we go down, some of us, we can't get up. <laughs> so on your mask, you go this way. On your mask, get set. So on your mask, you go this way. On your mask, get set. You want to move that back? Sorry, I am going. Let me see your finger in the air. It's a reggae song. Hey, let's go. We are ready. I can't see your legs. Let's go. On your mind. I say, yes, yes. Uh huh. We are ready for the late Let's go. We are ready. We are ready for the Come on. On your mask. Uh 
Uh huh. Yes, sir. Hey, we, we are, are ready, ready for joy. Now, cho 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 cho. All right. It means you have done well. Let's sit down. So we are ready for jolly furnace. I am going to go through the eight steps for you to see. Are you okay? I'm going to go through the eight steps for you to see. All right. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. There was a boy called Sam. Sam has a dog called Sylvester. One sunny afternoon, Sam and Sylvester went to the riverside. When they were going, Sam saw a snake. The snake smiled at Sam, waved at him and said, What name did you hear? You heard Sam. And you also heard Sylvester. And you, you heard Snake too. You heard Smile. Who saw the snake? Who saw the snake? And what did the snake do? Can you smile? Can you smile? Smile and let's see. And the snake did something again. He waved. And how did the snake wave? Wave and let's see, like this. This is how the snake waved. And as the snake was waving, it said what? A wave, and then say what the snake said, and let's see. Again. And then it said what? Let's see. Again. So, we are talking about this sound. And this is, the sound is, the sound is, I'm talking about the sound. The sound is, I haven't asked you to do the action. Aha. Uh -huh. The sound is, the sound is, and the action. I didn't say say the sound. The action. The sound. The action. Now say the sound and do the action. One more time. And for the last time, I am. I am. And that is why I, I, I say it two or three times. Because the first time you say it, the child will not pay attention. Second time, some will join. And the third time, others will then don't say, last time, everybody will join. So let's go. Say the sound and do the action. One more time. I can't see some hands. Do you know why? If one person doesn't do it, that place goes in. So you see that there is a pothole over there. So let's go. Sound and action, go. Because I am facing you, it should go this way. So let's go. Let's go. Very good. Now, where are we now? Where are we now? Yes. You have heard the story. You have done the action. You have seen the flashcard. And so we are now on formation. All right. So let me see your pencils. Bring a pencil out. I don't want a pen. If you don't have a pencil, I'll sell one to you. You buy one. All right. Should I give everybody a pencil? Yes. Very good. Please. Magical pencil, everybody take it. Now everybody has a magical pencil, so put your pens down. You have a magical pencil, which will not break. You will not sharpen it. You don't need eraser. So, magical pencils in the air. And at a point, at a point, we are going to write it. Okay, so let's move and stop. At a point, move and stop. At a point, move and stop. Now take a partner and write it at the back of your partner. 
Go, take a partner. Ah. <laughs> take a partner. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Hello, did your friend do it well? No, then do it again. Uh huh. Now, can we all stand? Can we all stand up? You wrote it at the back of your friend. Now you are going to use your body to write. So body, body at a point. Now, write. Your hand will write and the button will write that down. Let me see your hand writing the upper part and your button writing the down part. Body at a point. Right. All right. Please sit down. Yes. Now, let's note this. When you teach the first sound, you don't blend. Why? Because it is the only sound that you have taught. So you can't blend. So what you can do is to ask the learners to mention objects or names or anything with a sound in it. Can we mention some? Sam? Snail. Skip. Smith. A, a name or anything. So they mention. Then somebody mentioned Shito. Right or wrong? Wrong. Soy is right. Sabola is right. Song is right. <laughs> Asana is right. Asanka Sobolo is also right. And so Sobolo Soba. Uh -huh. They are all very good. So we go to sounding. Now I am teaching sounding. When we get to sounding, this is what we are going to do. Because it is the first sound, we don't have any word to use. At a point. Body at a point. Now, right. Your head will write and the buttons will write that down. Let me see your head writing the upper part and your buttons writing the down part. Body at a point. Right. <laughs> All right, please sit down. Yes. Now, let's note this. When you teach the first sound, you don't blend. Why? Because it is the only sound that you have taught. So you can't blend. So what you can do is to ask the learners to mention objects or names or anything with a sound in it. Can we mention some? Some? Snail. Skip. Smith. A, a name or anything. So they mention. Then somebody mentioned Shito. Right or wrong? Wrong. wrong. Soy is right. Sabola is right. 
song is right. <laughs> Asana is right. Asanka Sobolo is also right. And so Sobolo Soba. Uh -huh. They are all very good. So we go to sounding. Now I am teaching sounding. When we get to sounding, this is what we are going to do. Because it is the first sound, we don't have any word to use. So you are going to mention some words. And if the child can hear the sound, the child will give you thumbs up. If the child cannot hear the well, the sound will give you thumbs down. If you can hear the sound, give me. If you cannot hear, give me. So let's go. Snake. Socks. Shoe. Shoe. Mosquito. 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 Very good. Table. Chess. That I can see. <laughs> That is good. It's normal in the classroom. Thank you very much. You can also do another activity. If you can hear the sound, clap. If you cannot hear, clap. Ready to go? Slate. Sandals. Singlet. Hat. Which one? Huh. Mask. Samuel, Jonathan, very good, so that is it. Then we come to dictation. When you come to dictation, you can sound it for them to write, or you can do the action for them to write. Dictation, you can say the sound for them to write, or do the action for them to write. That is dictation. So write this one for me. What is it? Very good. All right. For me, do write it. Now you get to the song. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in. One more time, go. The snake is in the grass. 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 You are done for the day. You are done for the day.